Cognitive enhancement is the amplification or extension of core capacities of the mind through improvement or expansion of internal processing systems. It is important to distinguish the difference between an enhancement and a therapy. In short, a therapy is used to heal and correct a disorder, whilst an enhancement is an addition that adds value. Conventional cognitive enhancement we encounter every day without realising, such as your diet, your morning cup of coffee, dietary supplements, that energy drink to get you through a late night work session, and even education. Unconventional examples include neurotropic drugs, which are pharmacological enhancers. They're substances which have a short-term physiological effect on the brain, improving wakefulness and concentration. Their short-term action is why they have to be taken regularly to continue having the desired effect. Hey! Hi! How are you doing, Dave? Hey guys, have you done the essay yet? Yeah, I finished it ages ago. Why? Haven't you started it yet? It's in two days. Yeah, I know, I know. What bit are you on? Um, I'm talking about this drug called Modafinil. It's supposed to be a smart drug too, apparently. Yeah, didn't you know? Yeah, loads of people take it. Apparently it's the most popular drug, a smart drug around, along with uh, Ritalin. But it's a prescription drug though. Yeah, you can buy it on the internet, and there's some people that sell it, like um, Brad who does geography. Really? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, got to go. Good luck with the essay. See ya. See ya. Maybe I should try some of this stuff. How do I know this stuff is real? I mean, how do I know it isn't just mainly talc and other things to bulk it up and has little of the active ingredient? What if it comes with side effects that prevent me from completing my essay even more? Or I'm allergic to something in it? This whole black market aspect doesn't seem right to me. I remember reading that these smart drugs aren't properly regulated for healthy people who aren't being prescribed it. The Food and Drug Administration have already called for more strict regulations about their use in these situations. How do these drugs even work? So, these neurotropic drugs, what are the general mechanisms of these drugs and how do they work? So these are a broad range of drugs which seem to focus on many different neurotransmitters. However, the most important seem to be the catecholamine neurotransmitters, which are dopamine and noradrenaline. I was reading about a particular drug called modafinil. Um, how does that work exactly? Modafinil, like these other drugs, binds to the transporter for dopamine and noradrenaline, which is responsible for reuptake of these neurotransmitters into the cell, and so it increases their levels um, in the brain. However, as because the brain is very complicated and these transmitters have knock-on effects on lots of other systems, um, there are also effects on other neurotransmitters such as orexin, acetylcholine, and glutamate and GABA. I suppose if I do it just this one time, it won't hurt. I'll definitely give myself more time for an assignment next time. I don't have a choice. If I don't have some outside influence, I won't get it done. I just can't concentrate. Especially when it's right there in front of me and could make my life so much easier. I need to focus on my essay. I just can't. I feel so exhausted. No. No, I've got to do it. How long does this take to kick in? Oh well. I'm so nervous. I've heard no one's got more than a two one. Really? Well, let's see what we get. I got a two one. I got a two two. Oh man, I only got a third. Dave, what did you get? You always get the same as me. I got first. What? Do I deserve this grade? I mean, surely I would have achieved this grade if I had given myself more time. I wrote it, not the drug. The drug only helped me remain focused, so how much is it accountable for my grade? Would I have been able to hand in my essay on time without it? Surely that's an unfair advantage. But then, maybe they use drugs as well. Or caffeinated drinks. Where do we draw the line as to what is acceptable? Is it cheating?